Hello, my fellow ACANs. This is Liz. I'm a Lenovo Certified Technician, and today we're going to be discussing what to do about a no bootable device error. So the Lenovo way to fix is you hit power, and we're going to hit the enter button, and then I'm going to select F1 to get the BIOS setup settings. Now, Lenovo does not have a standardized way to do this, so other possible ways to enter BIOS is by tapping on F1 at startup, F2, or holding down the FN key while hitting F1 or F2. Unfortunately, Lenovo has not standardized their method of doing this, so if you still can't get it to work, you may need to Google your specific model. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either. So I'm gonna use my arrow key. I'm gonna stop at date and time, make sure this is set correctly. As you can see, it shows you how to do it on the side. Always good to have these set uh, the way we need. And I'm gonna use my arrow keys to go over to start up after this. Uh, incorrectly set BIOS settings is the number one cause for boot errors. So that's why we're going and checking these. As you can see, I'm going to UEFI using my enter key to make sure it's set on UEFI only. I'm gonna go back over to the security tab with my arrow key. I'm going to arrow down, enter to hit secure boot, and make sure it's enabled. This will vary slightly from system to system. Once I'm done, I go to the restart tab and I exit saving changes. Now, as a side note, I just showed you how to set these settings for Windows 10. If you have Windows 8, you'll need UEFI with secure boot enabled. Now, if you have Windows 7, though, you'll need legacy with secure boot disabled. Now, we're going to test your hardware because this can be both a software and a hardware problem. We're going to hit power, we're going to hit enter, and we're going to tap on F12 to get to your boot menu. Now, once again, it can vary uh, ways to enter. You might have to do it like I did, or you might have to hit F12 or hold down the func FN key and then hit F12. So the goal going into this is to test your hard drive in here. But as you can see under diagnostics, I don't even have my hard drive listed. So if you run to this, what that means is your hard drive has died so much that your Lenovo doesn't even realize it's installed, which means you can try reseeding it, which means plugging your hard drive, unplugging your hard drive and then plugging it back in and then see if it reads it. If it still doesn't read it, that means you need a new hard drive. We have a link down below on how to go uh, replacing that. Next thing, uh, if you do have your hard drive test listed, go ahead right now and hit enter and test it. If your hard drive fails the diagnostic, you're going to need to replace it. Once again, we have a link down below in the description on how to do that. Now, the third scenario we run into, if your hard drive passes, that's actually a good thing. That means that it's a software issue. You're going to need to reinstall the operating system. We have a video down below in the description on how to do that. Also down below in the description uh, for replacement hard drives and solid state drives, we've listed some options. Also, we've listed an option for if you want to upgrade from a hard drive to a solid state drive. The most common replacement options for Lenovo computers. Lenovo. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.